fourth hour notes with operations with radically expressions. Beautiful. Okay. Mr. Mm -hmm. July, I promised you that you were going to have easy notes today, correct, sir? I yeah. don't remember. Yes. Yeah. You did. I heard it. I'll say you did. I heard it. Well, here, let me show you what we spoke about. Boom. That's exactly. You said you have easy notes. Say again, please. Uh, you didn't say anything about easy notes. I didn't. The notes aren't easy, but the work is easy. But you're really taking notes on the easy stuff, so. In turn, you are taking notes. Easy notes. Beautiful. All right. So, folks, in actuality, um, five square roots of two plus seven square roots of two. <clears throat> Say again, please. Twelve square roots of two. Yeah, well, Just that easy. That's, that's hard. I know. Is there any way uh, they get harder and yes, sir. they uh, will reduce each other? Yes. Yes. Um, 16 square roots of three minus 10 square roots of five plus two square roots of three. Okay. Anybody want to volunteer to uh, guesstimate the answer? Uh, Sean? 18 square roots of 3 minus 10 square roots of 5. Perfect. Oh. Yes, sir? I, I did something to write. Did you have had, this first? Yeah, I had that first, but then I did 18 square roots of 3 minus 5 square roots of 1. But you're not getting anywhere. You're you're just taking that three and making it three in a one. Yeah, I did that. I divided ten by five, five by five. Good, done. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Um, next problem. <clears throat> Seven square roots of uh, six plus two square roots. of 11 minus 2 square roots of 6 plus 4 square roots of 11. Uh, Tom Barth, had your hand in first. Go ahead, sir. Five square roots of six plus six square roots of eleven. Perfect. Wow. I showed you one that has four example, uh, four terms. How do you know the sign? Um, use the coefficients. So what? Seven minus two, positive five. Two plus four, positive six. And then, then over here. It was a minus 10 square root of 5, but there wasn't any other square root of 5, so just use the sign right in front of the coefficient. Okay. Okay, good question. So four terms, three terms, two terms. Okay, that's your first type. Okay, next type. Please write this down for me. Four square roots of 54. Four square roots of 54 plus two square roots of 24. Okay, can you combine 24 and 54? Yeah. Yeah. Are they the same radical? No, but you can. They're that's already so defined. What's a one, what's one radical no-no that's going through your mind right now with 54? It's a perfect square. There's a perfect square inside of it. So bring your 4 down, and how do you break up 54 with a perfect square? 9 and 6. 9 and 6, square root 9, multiply by square root 6, bring your plus sign down, bring your 2 down. How do you break up 24 with a perfect square? Square root of 4, 
and square root 6. Now, you just simply multiply uh, Sam Saunders, square root 9, 3 times 4, so now we have 12, square root of 6, plus Dakota, square root of 4 is? 2. 2 times 2 is? 4. Now what do we have? Yes, yeah, 16 square roots of 6. This is really easy. Uh, yes, sir. I tried telling you. Mm -hmm. I, well, I, I don't tell stories because they're all true. Is, uh, is that one of them that you reduce? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, one more. Please write this down for me. Three square roots of 45 plus square root 20 minus the square root of 245. So three square roots of 45, 45. minus square, square, square root, root 20 20 plus, plus square root of 20. Okay. Minus square root of 245. All right. <laughs> Say again. You can do that if you want. Okay, the first term, Mr. Uh, Lake. Is there a perfect square inside of 45? Uh, yes. And what is it, sir? Nine. So three times. Radical 9, radical 5, bring your plus sign down. What can break up 20 into? 4 and 5. Square root of 4 and square root of 5, bring a minus sign down. We need to find a perfect square inside 245. So try 196, try 169, try 144. Try 121. So you can find the first perfect square. How many times will 49 go into 245, sir? So square root 49 multiplied by the square root of 5. Now let's just go ahead and simplify our perfect squares. Valentate square root 9. 3 times 3. So 9 square roots of 5 plus 2 square roots of 5 minus 7 square roots of 5. So class, what's 9 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5? 11 square roots of 5 minus 7 square roots of 5. Say again, please. 4 square roots of 5. Yes, sir. All righty. Tell me what you do and don't understand with what just happened. Yes, sir? I have another question. Go ahead. What if it's a square root of 5 and that has a parenthesis? That's what we're doing next. We're doing that next. Okay, any questions on breaking radicals down to find common radicands and then finishing it off? All right. Now, I'm going to jump ahead. And I'm going to say 2 square root 6, maybe, multiplied by 3. Brock, want to give a guess? Right or wrong? Totally up to you. Before you say anything, let me say, what if it was 2x times 3? What would that be? Rob, would that be? 2x times 3? Uh, 6x. 6x. Okay. Now, what's 2 square root of 6 times 3? 6 square root of 6. It's just that easy. 6 square roots of 6. Don't think any more difficult. You go coefficients first, radicals second. 
Coefficient first, radical second. Three square roots of uh, five times three square roots of seven. <clears throat> oh, oh, she walked in? Yeah. You're good. You're good, Bob. Just leave it open. Uh, Pepe Le Pew, help me out, please. Pepe, excellent job. Three times three is nine. And radical five times radical seven is radical 35. Uh, have I done anything that has confused anybody yet? No. Herb check, have I talked to you today? Uh, I asked you one question, I believe. I believe so. Beautiful. All right. Now, here we went. Coefficient and radical, just for the coefficient. And then we went coefficient, coefficient, radical, radical. Now we're going to go one radical expression times a binomial. You think it's going to be any more difficult? Yes. Coefficient, coefficient, radical, radical. Um, oh, I'll give you uh, square root three. Multiplied by the quantity of <clears throat> So first of all, what coefficient is in front of the, the square root of three? One. What coefficient is in front of the square root of seven? One. All right, so let me ask you a tough question. Square root of three multiplied by square root of seven. Square root of 21. Plus, what is the coefficient in front of here again? Three. One. one. What's one times three? Three. And radical three times radical two. Wow, that was so hard. Can we combine anything here? Uh, no. Nope. No. Nope. We're good. All right, one last problem. Say again, please. I think we're good. We do. Do you guys have any questions? No. All right. Homework. Homework. Let me go to my plan book page. Uh, plan book. Today is operations with radical expressions. Page 621, 1 through 13 all. This is the warm-up from today. I will have the notes the notes with the workspace on here and also I will have the link to today's YouTube video. You get to see yourself, yes sir.